a choker, a great qualifier who can't race, an overrated driver who squanders his opportunities when a big result is on the table. All of these accusations have been levelled against Williams driver George Russell since he threw away what should have been his first Formula 1 points finish in the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix at Imola by crashing under the safety car. But how fair is it to suggest he's the kind of driver who blows it when he has the chance to do something special? Let us know if you're for or against Russell in the comments below, and make sure that you don't blow your chance to add yourself to the 400,000 plus subscribers to the race by hitting that red button. But back to Russell. He has now started 34 races in his F1 career. That puts him in equal fourth position in the list of the most World Championship race starts without scoring. So let's look at the opportunities Russell has missed to see if there really is a pattern of squandering opportunities in F1. Germany 2019 Williams has scored just one point during Russell's time with the team so far in the rain-hit 2019 German Grand Prix at Hockenheim. There, teammate Robert Kubica was promoted to 10th place after finishing 12th on the road thanks to the two Alfa Romeo drivers being hit with a time penalty. Russell finished behind him in 11th place, having handed the position to Kubica when he locked up and slid off the track at turn 2 with 14 laps remaining. While Russell was on slicks on a drying but still slippery track, having pitted three laps earlier, it was a clear error that ultimately did cost him a breakthrough point. That said, while he knew it had been a chaotic race and he was hoping for points, at the moment he slid off the road, it only cost him 14th. In a season where this was the only chance for Williams, Russell was simply unfortunate that it was one of only two occasions when he finished behind Kubica. Had this opportunity for Williams to score cropped up in the 18 races he finished ahead of Kubica, the point would have been his. He also made a fight of it on the only other occasion Williams in any way threatened the points, finishing 12th at Interlagos and being in the thick of the battle for 10th after a late race safety car. But taking 12th was already overachieving, given how woefully uncompetitive the Williams was throughout the year. Austrian Styrian GP 2020 The improved 2020 Williams was potentially strong enough to score in the attritional Austrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring. Russell was in a position that would have allowed him to finish perhaps 10th when he retired after 49 laps with a loss of fuel pressure. There's not much he could have done about that. He started from a career-best 11th on the grid in the second race of the Red Bull Ring doubleheader, the Styrian Grand Prix, and momentarily ran as high as 9th on the opening lap, before slipping to 11th by the time the safety car was deployed. At the restart, he ran through the gravel trap at turn 6 while trying to hang on around the outside of Kevin Magnussen and dropped to 18th. By his own admission, there are times when Russell has struggled to balance up when to attack and when to be conservative, and here, perhaps he learned that this was a situation in which it was better to live to fight another day. Given the Williams was comfortably the slowest in the race, it's not correct to say that it cost Russell a point, but it was a mistake while trying to hold on to a position on the periphery of the points. Tuscan GP 2020 Russell spent 36 of 59 laps of the Tuscan Grand Prix at Mugello running in the top 10, 61% of the total laps he spent in the top 10 in his F1 career. He took the second and final standing restart ninth, only to be jumped by Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen and Roman Grosjean after wheel spin at his launch. He repassed the damaged Grosjean, but that was only good enough to finish 11th. Both Russell and Williams said he hit the parameters required to nail a start in terms of throttle and clutch use, but these were best guess estimates, given practice starts are not regularly conducted on such low fuel. There was also the complication that both Raikkonen and Grosjean had built better tyre temperature thanks to being sent past the safety car before the standing start. The poor launch unquestionably cost Russell points, but he can be given the benefit of the doubt given he apparently did nothing wrong in the way he executed the launch. Emilia Romagna GP 2020 Russell was running 10th under the safety car ahead of eventual 9th placed finisher Raikkonen when he speared into the barrier while trying to build heat in his aged hard compound Pirellis in anticipation of the restart. It was a catastrophic blunder, one he described as amateur, schoolboy and the biggest mistake of my career, and it's impossible to argue with that. 
He believes he would have been able to hold on to the position had he made it to the restart, and there's every chance he would have done. While not quite a dead cert, Russell's terrible mistake almost certainly cost him that first points finish after what was otherwise a superb performance. Inevitably, the lack of a points finish is a concern, but given there have only been three clear opportunities to do so in Russell's 34 chances, and we're letting him off for that final restart at Mugello, there's not enough cases here to indicate a pattern, especially given he spent his entire F1 career in one of the worst, and often the worst, car on the grid. But he must ensure he seizes on the next opportunity to shoot down this unfair perception that he's a choker. After all, this is a driver who has outqualified his teammate for all 34 of his races and only finished behind the other Williams four times in the 26 races where both have finished. He's also hauled the Williams into Q2 eight times out of 13 in 2020. There's a reason he's seen as a potential future Mercedes driver and has the support of Toto Wolff, and he's turned in a multitude of strong drives to anonymous positions thanks to the misfortune of being in such an uncompetitive car. Once he is in stronger machinery, this will translate into consistent points finishes and make the odd point lost here and there seem trivial. But next time, he cannot afford to throw it away. Let us know in the comments if you think Russell can make it to the front in F1, or if you think his mistakes are enough to write him off. And if you enjoyed this look at his brushes with the top 10, please don't forget to give us a like.